Right, Sido, how have you found the start to the season overall? I found okay, because we still won the mix, so it's good to be up there in the mix. So I hope, I hope this weekend we can win the three points. So if we win the three points, we're going to be right there. Yeah, it was a disappointing result against Accrington, but the way you came back against Wickham, how, how pleased were you with that? I think against Wickham, that was a really, really, really good game for us because we play on the floor, we almost dominate the game. If you see, Wickham only have one one kick in our goal. Even them goal it was our, our, our fault. So I think we are really confident in the 3 nil against Accrington. We just need to forget about that. Yeah. You look quite comfortable against Wickham and there's so many threats, isn't there, with Sam and, and Jermaine and Mo and the, the midfield lads. And what's it like playing in that team? It's really good because the centre midfields always keep the ball down and they are really clever player, really, really technical and they have a really, really good future ahead of them three. Also, we have a really good battle player on the bench. He can come on at any time. Ross Penn can come on at any time. So I think our centre midfield this year is our base to to get our ourselves promoted. Yeah. When when you give them the ball, you just know they're going to keep it and do or do something good with it, don't you? They're, they're just very good at keeping possession. Yes, we can be wide open. Me and Billy, Jay can make runs into in between the centre backs because it, they know the ball we will get there, and we also can be open because we know they will not lose the ball, so we don't need to be so tight. We can be wide open because they don't lose the ball in the ball. Yep. It's going to get to our feet. Also, Jermaine is getting sort of double teamed at times by defenders. Does that mean there might be a little bit more space for you to go forward? Yes, of course. I can go all the time around him. If he's trying to drive in, because the defenders now, before they used to give him the line, but they know if they give him the line, they will get beat all the time. So now they are showing more inside for Jay to run into the trouble. So the centre midfield can help them out. They also double double up on, on him so it's my job to try to get close to him and trying to help him out yeah what's it like playing with him is, is, has he changed since he came into Cheltenham do you think his game has changed at all yeah do you know when, when he came he was a little bit nervous but now he's really really confident and once you have a player like him confident no one can stop him yeah uh, last time we played South End, obviously not a good night for you um, do you think you've learned a lot from that experience yes I did learn a lot I don't need to, to challenge like, like I did I think that was a not really, really, really clever from me. So that was a big mistake for me. But I think from now on, I will not do the same as I did last year. Yeah, it's all part of your learning curve, isn't it? It was your first season in the football league last year, and you, you know, once you got sent off, you, you didn't do anything like that again. So you think you've, you've, you're just picking up things all the time. Yeah, I think I normally, uh, I don't like to dive like that. I'm always looking for the ball, but that was a mistake. That was an evening game. We also be having a lot of games. We will be tired. So I think. That type of mistakes is a, is allowed one time. Uh, yeah, I, I know sometimes one time can cost you a game in the important game like it was that one. But I think every single player have one mistake a uh, year. That type yeah. of mistake. But I think this this season I just trying to remember that tackle I did. So I'm not gonna make it. Yeah. No more. South End at home. Do you remember much about that game? Because I think most people agree that was probably one of your best performances of the season. Yeah, because again, yeah. South End at home. We start a run at miles an hour, and this is the way we need to start this Saturday. Just have a go at them. We play home. We should not give space to them like we did against Agrington. We should we should just let them know. Well, we are a shelter, so you cannot control the game here. Yep. We control the game. Did you feel a little bit more pressure at home? A little bit more expectation? Do you think that's why sometimes your away performances have been better? Yeah, it can be like that, you know, because when when you play home, you always wants to, to play well and give a good performance to the fans but I think the first 10 minutes instead of thinking trying to play well and do things well just let's do things simple and properly and play high as possible at the pitch and pressurise them and then after after 10 minutes when the games come we can try to play a little bit more beautiful yeah tell me a bit about your fencing uh, skills because I hear you were the, the champion <laughs> I won in it I was expecting that anyway nah, I'm joking no, that was a good experience. So it yeah. was a bit of laugh. And all for a very good cause, wasn't it? Yeah, so that's the most important thing. Yeah. Do you think you'll be uh, taking up fencing at all in the future? Or the future. would you like to give it another go? Or? Uh, you never know. It's quite fun, you know. It's quite fun, so you never know.